Hey guys, it's Daniel. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to share with you all the stationary pens, highlighters, planners, uh, journals that I am using for grad school. So um, this is kind of everything that I've either used or I think I'm planning to use from here on out. So I wanted to kind of share with you um, what I'm using as I study. All right, so this is just an overview of everything that I have um, normally in my book bag for a school or a study session. So let's just get started and we can start reviewing. All right, so first things first, let's start with I guess my iPad because I started taking notes from lecture PowerPoints on my iPad and then once I finish taking those notes on the iPad I go ahead and print it so this is my iPad Pro I believe it's the 10.2 um, model if not I'll just leave the information in the description box so it's just in a rose gold um, cover I believe it's the rose gold color and yeah so that's what it is and then I have my Apple pencil with a rubber like pink um, like silicone holder so it feels more like you know it's in the shape of like a number two pencil and I feel like it gives me a better grip as I write so up next is my Louis Vuitton desk agenda with my bullet journal. So in the beginning of the semester, you, you guys saw this in my videos. Um, so I, I love my desk agenda. It's a great size. It fits A5 notebooks. Um, and this is, I just have a couple of pictures of Sarai. And then um, I do have my bullet journal in here. And sometimes I just need a place to write my list. So I actually will probably do a separate video just detailing all of the courses that I'm going to take. So because I know I have gotten a few questions on that. So um, when I have either oops, when I have uh, a list of to do's or just need to kind of have more writing space that fits in my planner, then I'll use my bullet journal. So it's in dot grid paper and the bullet journal um, I purchased at the uh, Barnes and Noble and it's a time for every purpose. So it has Ecclesiastes uh, 3 1 and it says bullet journal. It's really cute. I love it. Um, I need to utilize it a little more but I think I will uh, this upcoming semester. All right so next is my planner. I stress to you all you must have a planner to stay organized. So um, I normally use the Erin Condren spiral bound planner but when I saw that pharmacology book um, the fact that I was using my iPad, even my laptop, I needed something smaller and I can't seem to get past using like a miniature planner. Um, I probably could make it work but I, my handwriting is too big so I decided to give the Erin Condren hardbound planner a try and I'm loving the size so um, I think it's closer to like a, I don't know, an A5 like that's, let me show y'all. So almost the same height, but um, it's a lot more narrow. And I like it because it's small, so I can just toss it in my bag and I don't have to think too much. Um, as of right now, I'm not using a desk agenda in my purse at all times because it does get heavy. So like this is an example of like one of my weeks. I use some stickers on there uh, when case studies are due, um, other assignments, exams. This is like the month overview. So, and then I use some sticky notes there. Sorry if you hear my dog. Um, and so far, so good. The only thing is, I guess I got the op the planner that um, didn't have the pre-filled dates, so I just had to purchase the little stickers. They're in gold, and I had to pretty much take maybe like an hour or so just putting all these stickers down. Um, so I watched a movie and I just, you know, put them on the page. But so far so good. It's holding up all right. I am a little afraid of how it'll be um, by the end of the, let's see, this goes all the way up to, is it May next year? April of next year. 
So I don't know if it'll do, but I will probably purchase a new one if it gets to, to the point where like the binding breaks or whatever. So I'm trying to stick with it. I love it. Um, and yeah. And then recently, as y'all know, that I've been dealing with anxiety in grad school um, to a whole other level. So I am feeling much better. And I think you guys are noticing I am really feeling much better. And I am so happy that I'm on some medication that's helping and then that I'm also... Um, starting to journal and that seems to be helping as well and then I think my confidence is also growing and that plays a big role in my anxiety because when I get really anxious I I go to such a negative space worst case scenarios and that seems to overwhelm me so I'm trying to do my very best and you guys are awesome for sending me such um, sweet messages positive vibes prayers all of this so I really appreciate appreciate you all all right, so this is my traveler's notebook. So since I decided to uh, journal, I kind of wanted something I can swap in and out, um, as well as um, maybe kind of condense my desk agenda into something small. So it's like almost like a two in one. Um, so this is a traveler's notebook. It's from Michael. So I mean, anytime I go to Michael's, I use like their 40% coupon. Um, it's really cute. Let's see. Um, I have some of the Traveler's Notebook inserts and then I have some like blog ideas written on there in one of the notebooks. I have my sticky notes, my to-do list of things I need to get done this week that I'm off and then um, I have a separate notebook that I'll be using as a journal and I've only done a little bit but um, like so that's just me writing and I'll just stop there. So yeah, I kind of want to have this readily available. So if I'm thinking or just need to kind of clear my mind, I want to be have a place where I can jot all that down. All right. So next, the fun stuff: pens and highlighters. So um, let's go with the pencil first. So this is my favorite pencil. It's the Paper Mate. I've used it since like high school. Um, I probably even have some that are that old. Anyways, so it's a 0.7 millimeter lead. And then you can obviously twist this up and you have your eraser and then whenever you purchase it it normally comes with extra lead and extra erasers so this is my pencil that i use for my exam so they give us scratch paper and this is what i use to kind of jot down some stuff and recently i've just been as soon as i get the scratch paper i'm like i can do all things through christ or don't change your answer you can do this breathe and i literally write that on my paper because during the exams my mind I mean my anxiety is too high and sometimes I get so discouraged that I just want to like just stop um, and I'm losing so much confidence when I feel that way so then I just look down on my scratch piece of paper read those positive thoughts and comments <clears throat> and um, I get back to the exam so that's my pencil uh, my pen most of the time I use my um, high tech C Coletto pens I have many of these I get them from jetpens.com and what I love about them is that you can insert your own, well, your preferred ink as well as your um, pen size. So most of the time I love writing with the 0.5. I do have a 0.3 and a 0.4, so it just depends on the pen. Um, so yeah, I have a bunch of these and this is like my go-to pen. All right, up next, uh, the newest pens to my edition. So this is the Styler Rollerball. 10 tripless roller I don't know so it comes in this little holder and apparently like you do it, you use it as a stand like that it's a little flimsy I don't know I don't think it used to be this flimsy but every time I try and just put it down and take out the pens as I study like you see how that's opening I don't know whatever I still use the pens um, as I study to just kind of highlight certain things okay yeah whatever <laughs> All right, so that's my newest pens. And then y'all saw this on my Instagram. It's just one of those Starbucks um, reusable cups. So if you get your coffee in it, you get like 10 cents off. But um, yeah, I mean, I have so many thermos and stuff like that. I don't utilize that for this. Uh, but I do use it for my pencil holder. So it does a great job. It's very sturdy, so I'm happy about that. And then it's full with all of my... Uh, pens that I'm using and my highlighters. So yeah, it's a neat idea. It's what, what three bucks? 
Oh, this is another Coletto pen that I mentioned. So let's say if I'm going somewhere and I can't carry my cup or anything like that, um, this has about five different colors. So I'll still be able to, between these two pens, write uh, my regular notes and then highlight things with um, the ink, the colored ink. So that's that. I'm going to pull out the pens that I've been using mostly. As I mentioned, the other ones are new. I kind of have duplicates because I started to get some leaking ink. And I don't know. See? Ugh. So that's the only bad thing about it. I don't like that it leaves all this ink. And I don't know if it's just being in the cup. Man, all of them. Okay, well... I still like them, so I guess I'm going to deal with it. Okay. So these are the uh, Energel Liquid Gel Ink. I love gel rollerball. They write so smooth. And as y'all mentioned, or as I have mentioned throughout my entire, like, nursing school stuff whenever a teacher talks or i do any lecture notes it's going to be with my purple pen and this is mostly the purple pen that i do use so that's that and then i found that they had them in different colors i'm like perfect i love it um so i was buying the like the five pack so it comes with the um i believe it comes with the purple green orange pink and then blue and so obviously I've gotten a couple of different packs so I, I love how they write and again whenever I do my studying my lecture notes or my powerpoints um, if I need it to kind of pop out I'll just use a different color ink I right now don't have a color coding strategy for the pen writing besides just purple means like instructor or instructor emphasized red really important pay attention to it that's pretty much my basic pen colors when it comes to highlighters it's a little different um so next we can talk about my highlighters so they are the midliners i don't know i have to clean all that out can you see that that's what happened so i think the gel ink pens whenever they just are in there it kind of leaks the ink and then uh, now all my highlighters are dirty so not good okay I'll figure something out but I will show y'all anyways um so these are my midliners I'm sorry I can't really display them in a prettier fashion for you let's see I'll do maybe a couple of time so you've seen the these all over like Instagram they're so cool i love them because they're dual point so for instance um let's pick the red so this is the midliner the red one so it has a regular highlighter tip like that and i use it to just highlight something really important and then if like i want to start something that's already highlighted let's say medications already highlighted in blue my medications are highlighted in blue then i can say if it's like contraindicated i can put like an exclamation point with the fine point um, on there so whenever I do study I can see oh there's a marker that tells me to pay closer to it closer attention to it so that's that <sighs> ink all over me anyways so um, those are my highlighters and then my newest highlighters that I have been using are the Stabilo <laughs> these are cute um, Boss Originals so they look like this and they I believe came in a five pack as well Yes, and this little baggie is from I think the Target Dollar Store, Target Dollar Spot. Um, so it just houses some other random, um, you know, highlighters and stuff. So this one comes in, as you can see, yellow, pink, green, orange, and purple. And I always like to buy things where there's a purple because, again, you know my thing with the purple. Um, so yeah, I actually like them a lot. So it gives me more options to color code things. I'm going to put that back. And then let's talk about the Pomodoro technique, which is something that I wish I found earlier in the semester. It's um, pretty much a 25-minute intense study session. You're not disrupted by anything. You have a 25-minute ti uh, timer. And then you take a five-minute break in between. So in grad school, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough days off to be able to just kind of you know study one chapter here and then stop for the day and then 
come back. So I have to study like all day long. And that means from like nine in the morning to like 10 at night. Um, and so I decided to try this technique. I've been trying it. I think the content has been sticking better, which is good. And I'm not so overwhelmed because you know, at the end of my study period, I'm not trying to cram all of this info in. You know, I do feel rested in between. So, um, two, two things, well, three things. So I have used the Focus, what's it called? The Focus app, um, Focus Keeper. So I put a 25 minute timer on there, I press play, and then it starts counting down. And as I do that, then I go ahead and play my study music so uh, thank you guys to those that have purchased my study music so I'm working on this little study session music um, album in a sense with um, various background music that you can listen to as I study and if you watched my study with me at Starbucks videos or anything like that the music that's playing on that like my husband created and um, that's what I listen to as I study so I'll just play like maybe like a couple seconds of it so this is really peaceful. Um, I have other people saying that they're using it for like their children's nap time or when they're trying to just relax. Um, so yeah, that plays for 25 minutes. So you can technically just press play. As soon as you hear the music, you start studying. And then at the end of it, you hear a little bell that um, tells you that the 25 minutes is over. So that's what I'm using to study. And then I went on Amazon, I was like, Oh, these are really cute. So I went and purchased a little study timer. Uh, it's called a StudyMate D-Day Dual 5 um, study timer. And so I have options of obviously seeing the clock, a countdown, and then programming or using uh, two different timers. So I go ahead and um, I've saved it as a memory. So I just hit memory and then it tells you 25 minutes and you press timer and it starts counting down. And this little guy has the ability to vibrate as well as uh, beep at you. So after 25 minutes or however long you program your timer, it'll beep at you and then that'll tell you, okay, um, take a five minute break. So it starts counting up um, or you can just program a second timer for five minutes just to make sure you're not, your five minute break doesn't turn into an hour, which has happened to me before, but um, I think this is helping me focus. In. Okay, so last but not least, I will mention um, my Erin Condren kind of box, what I call it, my sticker and my post-it holder. So um, it's a flap, it's magnetic, and then it has some of my stickers that I use in my planner. Um, a lot of the like page flags that I use in my notebooks. These are like my little stickers that I use in my planner to signify like when I um, am working or not. And then of course, post-it notes, more post-it notes, <laughs> even more post-it notes. Oh, these are like my big dividers that I use in my binder. And this is again from Michael. So you saw that one in my planner. Um, so I just list down whatever I need to do. Uh. And again, these are also some stickers that I used um, to signify important things in my planner, just kind of help them stick out. And I think that's it, guys. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. I would love to see what your favorite uh, pens, highlighters, sticky notes, anything that you're using for school, what are you using? Um, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and share the videos. Bye.